I'm going to answer that in, in a very, in a totally different way. I actually do today things that I want to do, and and then I do an artwork. You know what I mean? It's, 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 I'm just trying to be honest here. I I I, I decide recently to simply. Um, do things that I want to do in life, and I, I find just uh, also an excuse uh, to transform that within an artwork. So it's, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very flat, uh, it's a very flat uh, answer, but it's a, it's a reality, so I should not hide it. But you know, it's not only Antarctica. It's going in a boat with a group of other artists, other artists who went with me. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested about going elsewhere. I'm de since, since since I did this this show at this gallery, when I follow the path of Pasolini and losing myself, yes, I'm interested about this. Translation. I'm interested about this movement so of an elsewhere. Yes, and obviously that was maybe a symbol of an elsewhere. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But we also can say, you know, I don't know which writer say that. I mean, this was like uh, the health, uh, who say that the precursor of the surrealism. The writer, the famous writer, precursor of the surrealism. Roussel, I think. Roussel, he was saying that the best place to travel is in his room, right? So, so I have no fascination. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a half fascination for this elsewhere. I'm, I'm aware about um, the danger of an exotic. I don't want to put just an exoticism above my work. That will not make the work interesting. And as I said, it's, it's I'm traveling through narrative. The connection with global warming, you mentioned, uh, is indirectly that the disappearance of the ice, you have the appearance of an island. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not in any way whitewashing global warming, but that there is this conjoining of appearance and disappearance. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Of something happening, occurring, together with the vanishing. Uh, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we, uh, it's, it's, when it comes to this relation with nature and how our relation with nature, uh, uh, someone, we, again, to, to read is, is, is Smithson. He is one of the smartest uh, thinkers. Uh, uh, he has done all this earthwork, as you know, um, and he was absolutely not naive about the transformation, the human transformation. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes you go in some woods and you say, oh, nature, it has been built by men. So yeah. I'm just interested to see how a narrative have a consequence on uh, uh, a natural environment and actually create something who appear, a new territory. How a narrative creates a physical, natural, new territory. An elsewhere. This is an elsewhere. It's not so much Antarctica, which is an elsewhere. This place is an elsewhere. This place appear and might disappear. I'm very interested about this fragility, this intermittence. Um, and I don't have to put a moral onto this. This. Uh, this uh, um, I will, to be honest, again, I will say that I will rather instrumentalize. This global warming, you know, within this work, it, it, is, it became part of the fiction of this work. Let's say it is one of the narrative of the work. Because you say, oh, global warming, I can create an island. You know, maybe there's mutation, maybe there's another form of life, maybe there's an alien, another, the other. I don't care. Again, some people just spend hours to talk about penguins. And, and it's, Nice, you know, but um, what I'm interested in to say here is a new, an alien, and others, you know. I'm traveling to dialogue as, uh, let me see if I say that I'm going to be killed, but 
yes, it's this idea of it's a diplomacy. You know, you talk the language. You talk the language of the elsewhere. I'm talking the shape of the. I'm talking to the albino penguin, the shape of the island. You know what I mean? I'm like San Francisco, <laughs> the Assisi, <laughs> but taking in a Pasolini way. You know, San Francisco, the Assisi is obviously. He first had to learn the language of the bird before being able to speak to the bird, right? After that, of course, there's a, there's, a, there's a religious aspect. I'm rather interested about the process of a diplomacy. Um, so to learn a contextual language and to speak through this language, rather than a colonialist system will arrive and impose his view uh, on a, a previous system, uh, which mainly they don't understand. I mean, there's a beautiful text on Latour, uh, on why we were modern, we've never been modern. Um, very interesting text on, on, on that kind of relation with a certain form of authority. And I'm try, trying to find a dialogue with a context. Of course, you take this form which have, you know, have a poetic or whatever, metaphoric or not so much, yeah, metaphorical way. Allegory, we say, rather than metaphor. Who sounds like sometimes a kind of like uh, something you can see on TV, you know, like a documentary. I actually really thought about it. It's a mistake that I've done. Another one. Um, I really thought about inviting a TV channel, like you know, Wildlife or whatever. I don't remember the name of this kind of channel. Like Discovery, Discovery you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I did really want to have like to have a morphing between like start, something who starts like a documentary film and start to morph into a kind of philosophical tale or something, but... Um, yeah.